What's good, y'all? Mr. Ready RT back at it again with another video. And today, I'm gonna give y'all seven things that I hate about my 2017 Dodge Charger. And man, hate is a strong word, but I'm gonna really use the word hate because these things annoy me that Dodge did this. So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Number one the rev limiter that Dodge put on the Dodge Chargers. Uh, I can't stand it. I get so upset with it because right at the time where you want the car to be the most aggressive, when I hit that exhaust and I want it to get loud, it'll cut out too early for me, man. And I just, I just don't like it. Like you have to, you have to time the perfect time to hit that, uh, to hit the throttle to get perfect revs in there when you want it to sound good. Otherwise you'll get that, uh, it cuts out and it'll sound like you're straining it, man. So you gotta time it perfectly. Otherwise you're just gonna sound bad. So I don't like the rev limiter on there. I just, it, that really irks me that uh, that it sets so low. It's at like 4,500 uh, RPM. But you know, that's one of those things that I'll change later on in life. Uh, and I, I'll make sure that I get that one done. Uh, Number two, y'all, number two. The second thing that I hate that Dodge did to these Dodge Chargers. Oh, the hoods that come on the RTs and below. And um, I watched a couple videos. I tried to stay away from uh, what a lot of people said, uh, but this one was one of my, uh, was one that I just had to mention. I know um, Rob YouTubing on a budget. Uh, I'll link him in the description below. Uh, he said the same thing, man. The hoods that came on the RTs and below, it's just so bland. This is a muscle car. I felt like Dodge should have did better in, um, in making that hood. Like they should have made it more aggressive. This is an aggressive car. So every hood on there should have been aggressive in its own way. The scat pack with that uh, single uh, vent in, the Hellcat with the three, they should, even if they weren't gonna do a vent, I felt like the humps that are on the hood of the, um, RTs and below, they should have made those humps more aggressive and the indentions uh, stronger in there and made it really stick out versus the little bitty humps that they did. So I really hated that. Um, that was the biggest thing that when I bought the car, when I looked at the front of it, I, uh, I wasn't a big fan of. Uh, number three, y'all, number three. Now I have the Alpine sound system in mind. So, it's not the fact that it's the Alpine sound system. What I don't like, number three, is the sound system, and it's when my windows are down. Like, I felt like they should have had a better quality of uh, music or a higher uh, level for your sound to go with great quality, because naturally, you'll ride your music where you uh, where you wanna listen to it. Not everybody cranks it all the way up, no matter what car it is. Like, if it's loud at a certain point, you'll leave it there. Uh, and I just don't feel like that when my windows are down and my sunroof is open, you know, it lets a lot of the sound out. So I felt like they should have made the quality of their speakers a little bit higher uh, because there are other sound systems out there that when you roll your windows down and you got the sunroof open, you can still hear your music. Great quality, great sound. Um, and that's just something that I'm lacking. So eventually I'm gonna have to upgrade that. Um, and you know, they didn't put a horrible sound system in there. Don't get me wrong when I say that. But it's just the fact that they didn't put it all the way up to the point where even when your windows are down, you know, beautiful day out showing off the car, sound system amazing. Um, and I've seen other cars come off the lot like that uh, with great sound systems. So that was, that's my, that's one thing that I did hate. I'm a big sound system guy and they did not, uh, they didn't make the sound system the top notch that they could have for any aspect of how you are enjoying your car. Number four, oh my gosh. Number four, these engine covers for the 5.7. Dodge, what are you doing? Like, if you don't go ahead and give us those half covers uh, fresh out, uh, out the door, like that little bulky engine cover thing that you gave us for the 5.7s, that thing is so annoying. It's so bad that when I found out that mine could come off, that it literally just popped off, I took it off and threw it away. Like I didn't try to resell it or anything out of line. I later was on eBay looking at the half covers and realized that the regular little cover, that they actually sell that thing for like 100 to 
I didn't know that, but that's how much I hated it. When I found out, found out that it could come off, boy, I ripped that thing off so quick, threw it right away. Did not care. Mm -mm. Got to go. That thing is ugly. It's bulky for no reason. It just covers the engine. Like, they should have gave us the half covers because those half covers makes your engine look really, really good. I don't know why Dodge didn't do that uh, fresh out the door for the V8. I feel like all the V8s and above should have the half covers. They shouldn't even give that um, that little bulky cover on there. They should show off the engine. I mean, because that's what you're buying the car for, uh, the V8, uh, for the engine. Like, you either want the 5.7, the 6.4, seven, the six four, or the 6.2 now, 6.2, uh, the, the Hellcat. Like, come on, give me the half covers, because this, this little bulky thing, that thing is ugly. Number five, oh, Dodge, Dodge, what are you doing? These fake tips, why? Like, why? <laughs> Honestly, like, was it too much to give everybody real tips? Like, I feel like all the work that you put into uh, putting those fake tips on there, you could have just put real tips on all of these cars. Um, once again, there's there's ways that I felt like you could have uh, set the the scales of the cars off different. I mean, you know, like, there's things that you should have put in each car as you go up and um like honestly other than my um then my engine what's the difference between my uh five seven charger uh and a sxt charger like if we set them side by side other than the hemi badge like if i take the rt and that hemi badge off you're not going to know that there's a difference and that's that's crazy to me uh, nothing against the uh, V6, but I felt like every model should have, you know, something that sets them out that you can obviously look at it and be like, okay, cool. You know, other than the badge, nothing. Like, you can still tell a Daytona is a Daytona. Uh, seats, give it away, even if you debadge it. The front bumper, uh, back bumper, um, they have the extra little vinyl on the side. Like, you can tell a Daytona is a Daytona, even if you take the emblems off. Um, there's stuff on there that you can tell. You can tell a Scat Pack is a Scat Pack. You can tell a Hellcat is a Hellcat. But after that, like, all the rest of them are the same. Like, so I'm like, come on, Dodge. Like, you have to do better. You have to do better. Well, number five was those fake tips. Uh, number six. Maybe, maybe I just got it, uh, got the wrong one. But um, number six is the, I have a black top edition charger and my roof is not black like i don't understand how we did that like dodge come on like how did you make a black top edition and not black the roof like really what what were you what were you thinking like what were you doing when you when you thought about this like i feel like all black top edition chargers should have a black roof there's no reason why you shouldn't did that like so now i have to go pay to get my roof blacked when I bought a black top charger. Dodge, what are you doing? I, I hated that, uh, you know, and these these things, you know, these things are easily changeable, but these are things that I felt like Dodge should have came with out the door uh, with the car. So that was number six, man. The black top edition charger that I got did not come with a black roof. Like, uh, so number seven, the last one and i just i just don't get it i don't know if it came from, uh, from dodge like this or is the people that made the apps um so i do my recording off my android phone and everything online so my number seven thing is android auto my android auto app the reason why i hate it is is because in the comparison to the apple car uh care like whatever their the apple one is called man theirs looks so much better like the apple uh one looks like it looks like they made the apple version first and then got ready to release it and was like crap we got people with android phones we got to do something for them just throw throw their scraps yeah that stuff that we didn't use for apple throw that in a bucket mix it on up give it to the android auto guys like that's how it looks like i'm like the apple one looks 10 times better than the android auto 
And I feel like that's that's just wrong for us people that like Android phones. Cause I love my Android phone. I don't want an Apple phone, but I want my, my Android Auto to step it up and get it together because I, I don't like the app the way it's set up. Like I feel like there should have been more apps that were readily available to use with the car. Uh, and the setup for it should have been nicer. Like it should have had a way nicer setup. So the Android Auto is my number seven thing. Uh, man, other than that, guys, like I honestly, I real life love my car. I don't want to trade it in and go get any other car. Um, there's things in the future that I want to do with this car. I don't see myself um, buying a Hellcat unless like YouTube starts paying me crazy money and it's readily available for me to be able to go buy a Hellcat. What I would love to do is get a Hellcat engine and put it in this one, you know, do the workups and everything and make this one a sleeper. I'm not gonna up badge it and make it a Hellcat then, or uh, I don't think I'm gonna tra uh, uh, do my front bumper. Who knows, maybe later on in life, I may decide to do my front bumper and go ahead and make the swap, but right now I'm not going to. Um, I'm not gonna up badge it to make it a Hellcat, but I wanna make it a sleeper. I want it to, uh, I wanna change the Hemi on the side and put SRT and then have the buy the Hellcat engine and put it in here, so people just think, oh, okay, he really got an RT. He uh, put an SRT on it until they hear that wine come by them, uh, and then they be like, oh no, he did. He did more than just put the Hellcat hood on there. He put the Hellcat engine in there, and I'm steady looking at it. Uh, you can get a Hellcat engine, the whole drop-in kit, uh, for about fifteen thousand dollars on eBay. So, I do love this car. I love so many things about it. Uh, a little bit later on, I will do seven things that I love about my Dodge Charger. But uh, today, I just had to go ahead and let y'all know, man, the seven things that I hated about my uh, 2017 uh, Black Top Edition Dodge Charger. Yo, if y'all like this video, man, comment down below, man. Hit the like button. Please subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Share it somewhere. Tell your friends, man. I appreciate it. I'm getting more and more followers, man. Without y'all, man, I don't know that I can keep doing this thing. I just love the fact that there are people out here that like to see my videos. It's uh, it's very heartwarming. I want to say thank y'all every single time, man. I appreciate it, man. Until next time, Mr. Eddie RT.